Tonight at the Capitol, lawmakers are taking steps to prop up the retirement fund for firefighters and police. It has been hit hard in the past few years due to a wave of early retirements from post-traumatic stress. John Croman joins us live from St. Paul with more details. John? Hey, the Senate tonight is going to take up the duty disability bill, one that's already passed the House. It's an effort to kind of slow the impact of so many firefighters and police leaving the field early due to mental health injuries on the job. One person's flower is another one's weed. And to lawmakers, it's just a message from the Capitol turf that it's time to wrap up the people's business. The situation now is that the pension fund, parapolice and fire, is being depleted. Senator Nick Friends of North Mankato is the lead author of the bill that would shore up the pension fund for the police and firefighters that have to take early retirement due to work-related injury, known as duty disability. With an increase in claims, some cities are seeing a bigger hit to their budget, partly because health care costs are going up and partly because the number of people that are on duty disability is increasing. A civil unrest in the wake of George Floyd's murder sparked a wave of post-traumatic stress claims, first against the workers' comp system and then against the state's police and retirement fund. Lawmakers will spend money to stabilize that system, but are also making a key change, requiring those claiming PTSD to get mental health treatment first. If they're better after 24 weeks and can return to duty, that's great. If they can accept another job with the police or sheriff or firefighters, that's great. The plan has the support of the statewide police and firefighting groups because the alternative would be to raise retirement payroll deductions for active duty public safety workers. What we're trying to do with the bill first and foremost is take care of those people that keep us safe by providing treatment, by protecting the plan status so that they can have a fair retirement and we can recruit the next generation of police, fire and paramedics. This bill has taken on some oppositions from some quarters because it would lower the amount of benefits that some firefighters and some police get if they've taken new jobs and are now making more than they did or more than they would get from the disability benefit. And that, again, the, the statewide police and fire organizations do favor this bill. Back to you. All right, John, thank you.